How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to History of Japan by Bill Wirtz. Alright, so I'm really excited to get back into Bill Wirtz stuff, man, after the last one, even though I kind of spoiled the history of the entire world rather than just the history of Japan, but it should be fun regardless, and I know this is technically history and not science, but it could go hand in hand, man, you can't have, really have one without the other, you know, so I'm very excited to get this going just because of, like, his humor, man, his humor alone was so spectacular in the last one, and I actually figured out, like, where a bunch of the memes that I've seen come from, you know, it's, Bill Wirtz is, like, incredible genius, but <laughs> lack of a better word you know is like i don't know if it's his humor genius or like he actually has knowledge because he is technically teaching you you know but you could still like a laugh at just the humor side of it so it's the best of both worlds in my opinion so i'm really excited to get this going so without any further ado here's history of japan japan is an island by oh. the sea filled with yes it is and it's yeah it is <laughs> in the year negative a billion japan might not have been here you mean neg negative 40,000 it was here and you could walk oh it, thank you <laughs> There's so science, I'll count that as science. Melted, it became an island, and now there's lots of trees. Oh. Because it's warmer. <laughs> so now there's people on the island. They're basically sort of hanging out. I love how it's like fast and then very slow at times. The Let's go. And bowls. And oh, yes. The outside world, and they have technology from the future. Oh, like really Bronze Age. And crazy rice farms. Let's go, and rice. You make a lot of rice really, really quickly. So much rice. You own the farm, you own a lot of food, which is something everybody needs to survive. That's very so that true. Rice farming and rice kingdoms spread across the I was about to say, man, you gotta have a lot of water for rice, and they have an abundance of it. Here, 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 and here. But this one was the most important. Ruled by a heavenly super person. Emperor for short. Emperor for short. The door. It's religion. The new prince wants everyone to try this hot new religion. Buddhism. Please try this religion, he said. No, said everybody. Oh. Try it, he said. No, said everybody again, quieter this time. And so the religion was put into place, and all the rules that came with it. And the government was they didn't say it as loud, so, you know, it worked. Like making the government govern more, and making the government more like China's government, which is a government that governs more. Hi, I don't know if I like that. Hey, dipshit, said China. Oh! Can you call us something else other than dipshit, said Japan. Like what, said China. <laughs> How about Sunrise Land? I like that. And they stole China's alphabet and wrote a book about themselves. Oh, and then they I honestly didn't know that. Another book about themselves. Okay. The How many books we gonna make? Died and kept it in one place for a while. Right hey. There. And they conquered the North finally. Get that? Finally. <laughs> a rich hipster named Kukai is bored with modern Buddhism, visits China, and learns a better version, which is more spiritual. Oh. Back, reinvents the alphabet. So that must be the Buddhism we know. For a long time. And the royal palace turned into such a dream world of art. Oh man, I want to visit that so bad. I love so their culture, by the way. Palace, it's not just anime. Your shit from criminals. Oh. Hire a samurai. Everyone started That's fair. <laughs> Rich, important people hired samurai. Poor people yeah. who could not afford to hire samurai did not hire samurai. The samurai they usually are the samurai. And powerful. More powerful oh. than the government. So they made their own military government. Well, let's go. They let the I think. Still be emperor, but the okay. shogun is actually in control. Shogun. Breaking news: The Mongols have invaded China. Damn Mongolians! <laughs> said the Mongols. <laughs> in the last video. Or else we might invade you as well. Okay, said Japan. Oh. So the Mongols came over, ready for war, and died oh. in a tornado. Can they we have more of the again. art, though? They had a nice time fighting with the Japanese, but then died in a tornado. Oh. Then the emperor overthrows the shogun. <laughs> How do you have a nice shogunate time fighting anybody? Moves to Kyoto and makes a new shogunate. And the oh. emperor can still dress like an emperor if he wants. That's fine. So we don't really care. Painting with less hey, there's the art. Of poetry. Oh, I love it, man. I love it so much. Monkey fun. Flowers. It's time for who's going to be the next shogun. Usually it's the shogun's oh. kid, but the shogun doesn't have a kid. So he tries yeah. to get his brother to quit being a monk and be the next shogun. He says, okay, but then the oh, shogun okay. has a kid. So now who's it going to be? Oh, now that's bad. Bones. And everyone <laughs> voted so hard that the palace caught on fire and burned down. I'm the sorry. He didn't care. He was off somewhere doing poetry. And the whole uh, that's fair, I guess, man. Pieces. Everyone is fighting with each other for local power. Seems like it. Game. Knock, knock. Oh. It's Europe. No, they're not here to take over. They just want to sell some shit. Like clocks oh. and guns. First time. Jesus. So that's cool. But everyone's still fighting each other for control. Now with guns. And wouldn't oh, that's bad. Control the capital, which right Can now we just stay with the katanas and stuff? Them. This clan is ready to make a run for it. But first, they have to trample this smaller clan, which is in the way. Cool. Surprise, the smaller clan wins. And the leader of I'm sorry? I mean, he did say surprise, right? Capital ...and invades the capital. And cool. it goes very well. He's about halfway through conquering... This Japan. is unexpected. I'm usually to say, like, negative stuff happening, but everything's going the, the way they want. ...is conquering Japan. And then he confiscated everybody's swords. Oh. And made some rules. And now I'm going to invade Korea, and then hopefully... I'm sorry! ...and failed, and also died. But before he died, oh. he told these five guys... Kind of a leap, though. ...to five-year-old son until he's old enough to be the next ruler of Japan. And the I'm sure that went well. Right. It's not going to be this kid. It's going to be one of us, because we're grown-ups. 
And it's probably kind of figured. This guy who happens to be way more rich and powerful than the others. Oh, uh, is that Trump? <laughs> him, but a lot of people support not supporting him. They have oh. a fight, and he wins and starts a new government. Again, that unexpected. He still lets the emperor dress like an emperor and have very nice things. But don't get confused. This is the new government, and they're uh, okay. very strict. So strict they close the country. So is the other governor just in. plain pretend? The Dutch, emperor, I guess. Shit, but they have to do it right here. Oh. Now that the entire country was not at war with itself, the population not at war. a lot. Business increased, schools were built, roads were built, everyone learned to read, books were published, there was poetry, Love that. plays, sexy times, puppet oh. shows, and dumb <laughs> Sexy and times! To study European science from books they oh. from the Dutch. We're talking geography, skeletons, Let's physics, go. chemistry, astronomy, and maybe science. electricity. Over time, the economic and cultural prosperity... It does tie it with science, we month. Knock, knock. It's the United States. It's, it's America. Boats with guns. Uh, Gunboats. Cannons. Open the country. Stop having it be closed, said the United States. Maybe not. Really nothing they could do, so they signed a contract. Uh, okay, never mind. United States, Britain, and Russia visit Japan anytime they want. Oh. Choshu and Satsuma hated this. That sucks, they said. This sucks. And with almost very little outside help, they overthrew uh. the show, <laughs> somehow made the emperor the emperor again, and moved him to Edo, which they renamed okay. the Western capital. They made a new it's like as soon as something bad happens, it goes Western. in their favor the again. It's pretty cool. Was pretty Western, and a oh. military that was pretty Western. Large. Was Western? That's right. It's conquering stuff. Oh. So we conquer? Korea. They conquer Korea, taking it from really? the previous owner, China, and then go a Jen. little bit further. And Russia rushes in out of nowhere and says, Stop, no, you can't take that. We were going to build a railroad through here to try to get some warm water. And Russia builds their railroad. Oh, I was like, what's to say? Do they and succeed? When the railroad was done, they downgraded to a fuck ton. Did I say downgrade? I meant upgrade. Oh, okay. Says, okay I was about to say, chill. man. And Russia says, how about maybe you chill? Japan is what did they do? Of Russia. You'll never guess who's uh, kind of scared of Russia. Great Britain. So oh. Japan and Great Britain make an alliance together so they can be a little less scared of Russia. Feeling confident, Japan... The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Just for Even though Britain's kind of helping. Tired and stop. It's time for World War Oh, we just got to World War One, have we? The 1900s and weapons are getting crazy. Now, yeah, they are. Empires are excited to try and muster get us all that stuff. Meanwhile, I think Japan that's too. Been enjoying conquering stuff and wants more. And the next thing on their list is this part of China and lots of huh. tiny islands. All that stuff belongs to Germany. I was about to say, who wants the tiny Britain islands? Britain was friends with. Wait, why is Germany? That's kind of far. In order to get to France to kick France's ass because France was friends <laughs> with Russia, who was getting ready to kick Austria's ass because Austria was getting ready to kick Serbia's ass. Oh, uh, was not confusing. What are you talking about? Leader of Austria's ass. Uh. Actually, shot him in the head. Oh, <laughs> I would have liked the ass shot. What that means. Duh, Japan take the <laughs> Let's go. To do anyway. so they call Britain on the telly I mean, they so should, right? They're the closest. And they uh, maybe not. And they also help Britain hey. here and there with some errands and stuff. Okay. Now the war is over. And <laughs> pop quiz? Japan, you technically fought in the war, which means you get to sit <laughs> You technically fought the, the war. Dudes, where they decided who owns what. And yes, Ooh. Japan gets to keep all that shit they stole from Let's go! Stole from Germany! The post-war mega alliance, the League of Nations. Yes! The statement is to try not to take over the world. Okay, that's fair. The Great Depression is bad. Oh. Japan's economy is now crashing. Kind of forgot about that. The military is doing just fine, and it evades Manchuria. And the League oh. of Nations is like, No, don't do that. If you're in the League of Nations, you're not supposed to take over the world. And Japan said, How about I do anyway? <laughs> and Japan invaded more and more and more. And more I love when he harmonizes. Oh, that's a lot of China. You've got mail. It's from Germany, the new leader of Germany. He has uh, nah, 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 nah. to take over the world and needs friends. This also got forwarded to Italy. They all decided to be friends. Because yeah, we all know what happens in World War II. I was getting there. Invading the neighbors. <laughs> then they invade the neighbors' neighbors. Then the neighbors' neighbors' neighbors who happened to be Britain. It's like the robot chicken sketch. The United States started helping. I want Poland's desk. And started not helping Japan because their mm. friends and our friends are not friends. Plus they're planning on invading the entire ocean. The United States is also working on a large, very large bomb. They somehow they make war fun with the freaking songs. Oh. But they still haven't joined the war. War looks bad on TV. And the United yeah, States until Pearl Harbor happens. Happen. I'm sure he's but getting there. Japan spits on them in Hawaii and challenges them to war. And they say yes. And then Germany, as a symbol Maybe of friendship, don't. declares war on the United States also. So the United States goes to war in Europe. And they Ooh. help Japan chase Germany back into Germany. And they also start chasing Japan back into Japan. There it is. The bomb yet and are curious to see uh, they're they're gonna, gonna though. That's probably the worst thing. They actually dropped two. They've done. Repeatedly. This is an extraordinary amount of pause. Oh, <laughs> the United States installed a new he shouldn't laugh at that, but he makes it comedic, man. Just the right ingredients for a oh. post-war economic miracle. 
It seems like they have a bunch of miracles, let's be real. Oh! Let's go! That's an understatement. Their technology is, like, leagues above ours. Hey! Go tin and trunks? Wait, that was actually the end of the video. Yeah, I, I didn't expect the buy to actually be real, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, man, so as expected, he knocked it out of the park and then stuff, man. Like, like I stated in the intro, you know, it's it's about, like, the comedic timing and everything, and, like, how he harmonizes with technically himself. Like, it's just so freaking wacky. Like, and you're actually learning. Like, somehow I'm actually piecing together world history through Bill Wirtz. It's, like, it's something special, man. And, like, like I said, man, like, the comedic aspect of it is, like, the number one thing what I love about this channel. Like, I only reacted to two videos, but still, man, it's just, it's literally something special. And I love it every single time i've just come close to like his stuff like i don't know if it's like in from a short or from memes just everywhere i stumble across it man it is so funny i'm still waiting for the still a piece of garbage one but like oh well man that's just really really fun if i happen to stumble across the like actual video where it's from then by all means but man i cannot get enough of this like like i said man it's it's somehow informative and it's also hilarious as all hell like it's something not even kirstiat does you know like they sprinkle some comedy in there don't get me wrong but his is like on a whole nother level man he somehow makes it like i literally just stated it's like super enjoyable super just you learn you actually learn but then you also can laugh the entire time and i'm talking the entire time but like even like freaking talking about the world wars like world war one and two like those are very very bad things that have happened especially the freaking bombs dropping that america did but like it's still like you have to laugh like i know it sounds very very bad but like the way he orchestrates it man and then just that long pause and then the white flag at the very end you know like come on man that's so freaking funny and like all in all like i can't get enough of his stuff like like i said man the humor number one thing I love. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave a like down below, subscribe, ring the bell, become a member, you get videos a day early, and check out the merch. So with that said, I have been Master Zero. That guys been fantastic and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Later days.